Hello my beans and nuggets. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Jasmine. I'm back at it again with yet another video. Depending on which video you're watching, I said that I was going to be pre-filming a lot of videos. So if you see me in the same makeup and outfit, it's whatever. At least I'm getting content out, okay? Okay. Um, but for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on a little collaboration that just dropped. It is the Glossier and SwissMissBomb.com. This will probably be a really short video, but I figured I would go ahead and put it out for you guys anyways. This will be longer than just a 60 second TikTok, which I have already done. But I figured I would come on here and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions and all that jazz. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. When I saw that Glossier and SwissMiss were doing doing a collab I was like I'm intrigued um because not saying I was getting bored with the bomb.coms because I love them I use them all the time I have like 10 of them I'm obsessed with them but when I saw this one I was like there is something so intriguing about them collaborating with Swiss Miss like I would have never thought the two brands would have collided so I was like what is that gonna look like and I have it on right now on my lips and I I'm fucking obsessed. It is so pretty. I normally did not like tinted shades that were like this, but I am starting to get more and more into them and I love it. So first of all, let me just show you the box, which I definitely will be keeping because this is just the cutest thing ever. Um, and here is what, ooh, it escaped. It's like, I don't wanna be in this video. Um, here is what the actual bomb.com looks like. The top is chocolate colored, you know, unlike the other ones, which I don't know. Each one has a different colored like tip. Um, but this one has a, you know, I don't, I'm trying to be careful with my words here and not sound dirty. The half of it, the upper half of it is a chocolate brown shade. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Super cute. The cap is like a, like the color that matches the swiss miss cup like a reddish orange type shade and i will say this smells like chocolate don't know if it smells like swiss miss but it definitely smells like chocolate and my dog as soon as he smelled this on my lips he was like what is that on your lips i need to i need to lick it i want it now but this is the shade that is on my lips right now it does taste a little bit sweet I don't think the other ones really have flavor. Do they? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that because um, I've been wearing the mint one. So it's just a very basic mint uh, flavor. But this one tastes a little bit sweet. It kind of tastes a little bit. You know what it tastes like? Like the chocolate lip balms. I don't know if y'all ever got them like as a kid. That's what it kind of tastes like. Oh, I just got a little bit on my nose. I got to be careful doing that. But it smells good. It smells chocolatey. And it feels, you know, just like the bomb.coms. I know some people don't like that, like how they feel. They're like, oh, it's too thin. Oh, it's too thick. It's like somewhere in the middle for me because I am a bomb lover, like a bomb slut. Let me tell you, I've tried so many of them. And these ones I feel like are right in the middle between like thickness level. So it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's perfect. This shade is perfect. They usually don't have too many like tinted ones. I know they have a couple like berry ones, like a berry and then a cherry shade. And then really, I don't think many of the other ones have that much tint to them. So this one, I was kind of like, yeah, they say it's gonna be tinted, but how tinted can it really be? But it's beautiful. It is a beautiful shade. So I would say if you are into bomb.coms, cause I almost was like, do I really need this? Do I really need it? But I was like, I can't pass this one up. I can't pass it up. And I think it's limited edition too. So, you know, sucked me in even more. But if you've been interested in it, it definitely does have pigment. Um, you guys can watch some of my TikToks where I'm like not wearing any lip product or even, I mean, are there even videos of me like not wearing lip product? I'm sure there are like get ready with me videos. You can see my natural lip color. This definitely added some like neutral brown. I'm like looking in the monitor. Sorry about that like a neutral brown taupey kind of shade and it's stunning it's beautiful like i said before i typically don't go for shades like this but i'm starting to get sucked in more like this clinique black honey merit lip oil and sangria like those are my jam i love them so 
I highly recommend this. I think it's like $10, $12. I don't know. I honestly picked up three of these because I felt like I was going to like this. And also I use these all the time. So I was like, and if I didn't like it, I would have gifted them anyways to my friends or family. But I love this and I definitely see myself using this 24 seven, <laughs> just maybe not at night to go to sleep in. But I definitely love this and highly recommend. So hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys. I don't want to swatch it on my hand because I feel like that's such a waste of product, especially if I'm already wearing it on my lips. But this is what it looks like on someone who is kind of like light, medium. My foundation looks a little warm today, but normally I'm on like the neutral side. Um, I used to think I was a lot warmer than I actually am, but I'm not. So this is what it looks like on Asian skin tone, light neutral, well, medium, light, medium, neutral tones, olive based undertones. This is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty, but I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.